England versus Wales at Twickenham, 16 to 14. England come away with the biscuits, the chocolates. Wales led for 60, 70 minutes of the game. Oh, very stop start, first 15 minutes. England had all the opportunities, all the ball, no points. Wales, their first opportunity they, they got from a line out, scored the penalty try. Two yellow cards for England in the first half. One yellow card for Wales deep in the second half, which then England converted into points. They took the lead and ended up winning the game. Oh, man, so disappointing for Wales. So tough. They led the whole game. Led the whole game. T this tough, tough, tough one to, tough pill to swallow there. I thought they, I thought they deserved to win that. Um, but deserving to win it and actually winning it is two different things. Uh, what did you guys, what did you think? Let me know in the comments, but we're going to get straight into it. I'm going to stay, I'm going to go on England. Um, look to attack early on. I thought every time Freddie Stewart got kicks towards him, made good decisions, straight, always looking to attack off those, those decisions. Like I said, I kind of drill, grilled England in their um, Italy game where they're picking all these exciting players but weren't necessarily playing that style. It's not going to happen overnight. You can see the intent is there. They want to play, they want to play attacking style of, of rugby. And it showed. Like this first, the first opportunity Freddie Stewart got, the ball got kicked to him. Usually England would just kick it back. He ran. The first one ran, broke straight through. Second opportunity got looked up. Space on the left, played Elliot Daly, and Elliot Daly broke through. So, good, good. That's intent. That's what England won. That's what their fans won. That's what me watching England won. I've been watching the Premiership, watching these teams play such an expansive style of, of rugby. These players are doing well for their clubs, get picked for England, and then they don't play that style. But you can see they are. Oh, that's slowly starting to change where they're starting to play more expansive style using these talented players and um, the first try Ben Earl picks off the back of the scrum and looks like he's playing for his in his younger brother's team like I think he took three or four players with him and scored I remember that any bigger eight that was against me would pick up off the scrum and run straight at me that's what that looked like because I wasn't going to tackle him and that's what <laughs> Welsh guys they were just falling off him or holding on to him scored good that's a good try there for Ben Earl. I thought the interplay between backs and forwards, like I said, you can see it's it's coming. Like it's not going to happen overnight. Training these things, the style of play, and then actually executing in a game, it's two different things. You don't know what to expect from the defense. Timing is a massive thing. But um, the interplay between backs and forwards was a lot, a lot better. Um, continued pressure in the, in the second half. Opting, they went for the line out, patient on attack, sucked them in, knew when to go wide. That that must be that must have been so tough for the Welsh guys to take because they defended really well there. But again, kudos to England, credit to England, sucking players in phase after phase, being patient on attack and knowing when to go wide. And Dingwall scores in the corner, first try for England. How how good. Their defense was probably their biggest improvement from last week. Obviously, Felix Jones, formerly with the Springboks, um, is taken over England's defense. And you can see that intent, that getting up off the line, rushing, making big tackles. I mean, they were a lot better this week in staying connected on defense. Italy found a few gaps last week where some guys were they were staggered. Uh, one guy was rushing out and this guy was too far back where... This week, if if one guy was shooting up, they were closing that gap nicely. All that guy shooting was making the tackle. Um, so that was good to say. Really suffocating Wales on defense. Um, and Wales, yeah, suffocating Wales gave them nothing. Like, at the end there, Wales resorted to chip kicks over or cross kicks during the game. A lot of cross kicks as well. It's obviously something they planned, but... Credit to England's defense. They come. They kept coming. Kept all game. You'd think they were coming so hard at the start, 
up rushing up on these defense good line speed you were wondering if you could, they could keep that up for the full 80 but they were deep into that half when Wales had the ball it was they, what are they three points two points ahead any penalty given away and a, they could go to posts and England just kept coming kept their composure kept putting pressure on their defense um, George, the kicking, George Ford's first conversion, he did, he did step, I think he does do a little jink, um, and got charged, not charged down, his ball got, he didn't even kick the ball, the ball got kicked off the tee by a Welsh player, um, but he's always good off the tee, he'd be, he'd be angry, he'd be angry with himself for that one, um, at 50-22 he kicked at a, like, crucial moment, that just swings the whole momentum of a game. Um, just so good at his kicking, his style, technique, and that strike of the ball off the tee and out of hand. Very, very good. Um, players that did well for me, Alex Mitchell, again, he exited really well, helped put take pressure off George Ford. I thought Theo Dan, when he came on, the hooker, he's a handful. Give him the ball. He's a rampaging bull there. Give him the ball. High knees, working through contact. I thought he did really well. Uh, ben Earl, man of the match, got awarded man of the match, very strong on defense, obviously scored a great try, and um, yeah, pestered rug t- uh, ruck time, loves carrying the ball up, so yeah, good good on it. I was thinking of putting him in my fantasy team, but I didn't, so yeah. <laughs> uh, jumping over to Wales, great attacking ball, first, first opportunity they got, scored. Last week, their lineouts went to absolute shit. They lost their first four lineouts. This week, first lineout they get, penalty try. That confidence, that forward pack's confidence would have gone right sky high. Um, it's, they obviously worked on it, something they worked on during the week, and it's definitely, definitely paid off. They looked to run the ball whenever they could. Obviously, sometimes that's a bad thing. They were trying to run the ball out from... Five meters from their line. I think you and Maro Toje caught you and Lloyd fucking right on his try line. Uh, sometimes you just need to get rid of the ball. Sometimes you can run it from the back there, but sometimes kick, get rid of the ball. I thought their forwards using footwork and the little tip on pass before contact was great. They obviously knew with England's new style of defense, rushing out of the line, they have to bring a little element there. They can't just take the ball and truck it up because you're going to get met with force. Little step, uh, Aaron Wainwright, really good at that. Little jink before contact breaks through. The little tip-ons. And literally, as I was noting this down, Alex Mann got a little tip-on on his inside, broke the line beautifully, beautifully. And went. he went on to score. He did. Yeah, forwards using, yeah, great footwork before the line. Getting into space, attacking weak shoulders, using the tip on. Um, yeah, pays off. Oh, Rafael gets the inside ball. Yeah, back into Williams. And man, crashes over. Great way to counteract that rush defense. Sorry, I've had to look at my little notes here. I got a bit too excited. But it's great. It, like I said, to counteract that rushing defense, great little tip ons on the inside. All the footwork before. Contact, um, beautifully. Just gets it, it makes the defense st- you sit or you miss your tackle. Um, so it's good, good little add-on that they've done. They've done there. Um, in the second half, they put their phases together nicely, shifted ball, um, picking off England's defense on the second third phase. I think they did really well. But then, like I said, sometimes running it when they should really just be clearing the ball, and it kind of got them on the back foot a few times. Um, defense, great turnover first up. England attacking their line in the first two minutes, um, and they got a they got a turnover right away. England were spraying the ball nicely, as they are bringing on their new style of attack, and kind of I felt like Wales were patient on defense there, knowing when to hit the ruck, and got a turnover there. Um, exit, yeah, after the first try was an absolute nightmare. That's where Ewan Lloyd got caught behind the behind almost right on his try line. Sometimes you just need to get rid of the ball. I think that's something they'll definitely look at to better. Um 
two infringements at scrum time. I don't know too much about scrum time, but that gave them, that gave England, allowed England into the game in, in that second half, allowing them to stroll into that game. Um, something they want to, they want to work on because you don't want to give soft penalties away like that. Massive defense at the, around that 65th minute mark. Um, patient, again, wait for a player that was isolated and attacked that rock and got the turnover. Very smart, smart play. Massive, massive turning points in the game was the yellow card to Mason Grady. Went for the intercept, kind of knocked the ball down. That 70th minute mark, George Ford then kicked three points over to take the lead. Uh, and then eventually England inevitably winning the game with that penalty. Used the cross kick a lot. I feel like sometimes too much. I get they were trying to combat that that rush defense, but I, I think it worked once maybe, and they would have done it three or four times. But it's credit credit to England's defense. They rushed up out the line. They worked on a lot. They did a lot of improvement from their game versus Italy and Wales. Kind of, they kind of looked a little bit shell shocked that they were leading most of the game. It almost felt like. When are, when are we going to lose this? When are we going to, when are England going to take the lead sort of thing? Um, going to stand out players for me for the Wales team. I thought Cam Winnett, man, is, he's going to be a future star for Wales rugby, for international rugby. I'm calling it now. Not scared. Contests for every high ball. Makes great. What about his tackle on Elliot Daly? That's a try, massive try saver there. Not scared to put his head in places where you wouldn't put your boots. Good, loves to attack the ball as well. Gets a, his first option when getting the ball at the back is attack. I personally love that. I love that. Gets his body in front of big play, way bigger players than him on defense. He's he's a big one. He's a good one. He's a keeper. He's a keeper. Cam, when I, I thought Wayne Wright was again. Outstanding, strong ball carries. There's a couple times, I think, where maybe he wanted to carry the ball too often, but still does so much work in contact. Um, uses his footwork before contact really well. And I thought his man on the side of the scrum, who I thought was the man of the match for me, Alex Mann, he was my man of the match. The amount of work he gets through, unreal. Unreal. He's not big, not a big fella at all. But so strong in contact at ruck time, making tackles, strong carrying the ball as well. Somehow just gets through tackles. His footwork's obviously good before contact. And he's everywhere. He's everywhere on the field. Scored obviously a great try. Um, he's a great, great player and had an awesome game. I thought he was the man of match for me. Unlucky for Wales. Like, that was Wales' game to win. England won it right at the end. I don't think they... They didn't show enough for me to deserve to win it. But again, like I always say, deserving to win it and actually winning it, two different things. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. I thought, I thought that was Wales' game. I tipped Wales by five. Oh, what do I know about rugby? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys thought, and I'll see you next time. Bye.